guys and girls. My name is Fireman Travis. Uh, some of you know who I am from the schools, right? I come around and I do all the fire prevention talks in your school. I'll come to the Husby School. I'll come to a lot of your preschools. So you'll see me a lot as you go through, as you get older and go through the schools. Today, I'm coming here to read you guys a book. We're going to read a pretty cool book because it's going to get into a lot of stuff about fire safety. We're going to talk about a bunch of different kinds of things. And then, yeah, after we're done reading the book, we will go take a tour of the fire truck when the fire truck gets back here. Okay. The only stipulation that I have is that I do unfortunately have to leave for any calls if any calls come in while we're going through this. Okay? You guys ready to get started? Yeah. All right, perfect. So the book that I'm going to read is No Dragons for Tea. No Dragons for Tea. Why would you think we wouldn't want to have a dragon over for tea? Because they're hot. Because they can get hot, right? So let's see. Let's see what happens when you have a dragon over for tea. Ready? <laughs> One warm summer day at the end of last week, my mom and I went for a walk to the creek. As I raced down the hill in my little wed in my little red wagon. Can you guys see the book? See the pictures over there? I veered to the left and smacked into a dragon. I suppose he could see there was fear in my eyes as I jumped to my feet quite filled with surprise. He sleep it sheepishly grinned and stepped out of the way, but he seemed so polite that I asked him to play. Would you guys want to play with a dragon? No. Yes. Yeah, it would be kind of cool to play with a dragon, right? Yeah, but dragons are mean. Well, they might not be. This one doesn't seem like it's going to be not mean. Not all dragons are. Yeah, not all of them. Nope. He had a cute bear with some other toys too. With my shovel and pail, we'd have oodles to do. We ran to the creek and then to the bay, where we played on the beach for the rest of the day. Has anybody gone to the beach yet? Yeah. Yeah. I have. I have. I have. I have. I have. I have. Did you guys? Did you guys see a dragon at the beach? No. 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 That's good. Then mom waved and said, now it's time to go eat. Let's pack the red wagon and head up the street. So it's hard to stop playing with friends old or new. So I asked if the dragon could come to eat too. Mom wrinkled her brow and squinted her eyes, looking up at the dragon's incredible size. I begged and I pleaded, then I said very sweet, we won't make a mess, we'll be tidy and neat. So at least, at last, she said, yes, just one, just this once I'll agree. You may have the dragon come over for tea. Uh oh, the dragon's gonna come for tea. Bless you, bless you again. We had carrots and apples, thick ice slices of ham, with fresh homemade biscuits and strawberry jam, cold glasses of milk, and a great big dill pickle. But the pepper we sprinkled sure made my nose tickle. Then the dragon's nose twitched, and he started to wheeze. His eyes missed up, and he blew a great sneeze. What do you think is going to happen when the dragon sneezes? Fire Oh, you think? I have a dragon gun at home and it says they don't only breathe fire, they also sneeze fire. Right? Ah, 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 chew! Well, we all know what happens when dragons ah chew. Flame shoots from their mouth and from their nostrils, too. Oh my god. Our table part, our tablecloth sparked and then burst into flames. The and the curtains that hung right beside did the same. The smoke alarm rang. What a loud, piercing sound! It meant get out fast. So I dropped to the ground. 
The room filled with smoke as I crawled on the floor and started to make my way to the front door. The dragon got scared and decided to hide, but I knew when there's fire we must get outside. I grabbed his thick tail and with one mighty tug, I pulled that big dragon from under the rug. When we hear the smoke detector go off, where do we go? Outside, right? And do we ever want to hide like the dragon just hid? No. no. Right? You want to get outside as quickly as you can. I crept down the hall and said, follow me. I know the way out. We must meet by the tree. So mom and the dragon and I all met there. Then that silly old dragon went back for his bear. So when do we go outside, where do we go? Near that tree. To your meeting place or your safe place by the tree, right? Somewhere is outside, a safe fire. distance away by the tree. But, okay. But it could make a forest fire and make it go even bigger. That's why you want to be a safe distance away from your house that's on fire so that you're not going to get hurt, right? But do you ever want to go back inside? No. No, once you get outside, you stay outside until we get there, right? So we ran up and caught him and wouldn't let go. And I said, listen, dragon, here's what you should know. Don't ever go back. That just will not do. We can get a new bear, but we can't replace you. Since the fire was burning inside our home, we went to the neighbors to borrow the phone. Mom knew what to dial and said calm and clear, here's our full street address send the fire trucks here. Do you guys know what your address is? No. If you don't know what your address is, you should ask mom and dad what your guys' address is. It's really important for you to know what the address is. I know. So that you can tell us if you had to call. Or just tell them. If they can, right? Before very long, down our street they came sailing with bright red lights flashing and loud sirens wailing. The fire crew rushed to start work on their task. They were dressed in big boots and wore helmets and masks. They hooked up the hose and ran into the house, where they sprayed streams of water in order to douse. The table, the curtains, our lovely snack too, and it didn't take long till the fire was through. The fire chief called out the door with a shout. The smoke made a mess, but the fire is out. Firefighter. I know he is. I'm a firefighter. <laughs> You're a firefighter. Yeah, he is. My dad used to be one too. Yep. My poor friend and the dragon knew he was to blame, so he hung down his head and wept great tears of shame. One of the fire crew said, Don't be sad. You knew what to do, and of that we're quite glad. You all got out safely. That was what really matters then she took us to where the big bump the big pump truck and ladders the dragon put on shiny red hat and i asked to see where the fire crew sat she showed us the siren the hoses and lights and the ladders they climb up to reach higher heights. The rest of the fire crew checked all the rooms while the fan in the door blew out gray smoke and fumes. Then the dragon and I, we sat down for a while. I reached up and hugged him. He gave me a smile. The next time the dragon and I want to play, We'll pack a picnic and go out to or go to the bay. We are friends, tried and true, the best we can be. But I'll never again dra invite dragons for tea. <laughs> and that's it. That was the end of the book. Is that a good book?
retirement in our year. You guys want to go look at our big fire truck now? Yeah. Okay, I have one question first, though. One question. What color are fire trucks supposed to be? Red. Red. What color is my fire truck? Yellow. You guys, do, you, do you guys know what happens to apples? When you get an apple, what color is it when it starts? No, nope. before it turns, before it turns red, it's usually yellow, right? And what makes it turn red? The water and sun. So that's why you see us washing our fire trucks all the time outside in the sun, because we're trying to get our fire truck to turn red. Has it worked yet? No. I've been trying for years, and I still can't get it to go red. I don't. I don't. Think I know it's why you change go red. Uh, you don't think so? No. We're gonna keep. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't work that way. We're gonna keep. It, we're gonna keep trying. Someday it might turn red like an apple. And I know why you change your fire trucks to yellow. Why? Because um, you also change your side by side to yellow. Yeah. And it's going to turn. And then it's going to the green fire truck is going to turn into a green one. We'll see. All right. So what we'll do now, okay, we have really important instructions. Okay, we're going to go over and we'll start looking around the truck. You guys are going to stay together as a group and we'll walk around and look at all the compartments and we might even let you sit in the driver's seat. But I have one very important rule. If a call comes in and I tell you that we have to leave, you all have to come back over here to the sidewalk and wait for us to leave so that you're safely away from the truck so we don't have to worry about anything when we're trying to leave. Okay? You guys ready for that? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hi, Did you hear the rule? How was it? And the water will, the truck turned on, the water will come through the hose. And when I open this hose, what's going to happen? Oh, you're all learning. Nobody reacted. That is the first time nobody's ever reacted on me. You're catching on. So you guys want to come hold the nozzle and open it? You come get into a line and you come over one at a time and we'll let you hold, hold the nozzle. Go ahead and grab this and open it right up. Good job. Okay, now you can close that. Alright, good job. something really really heavy we can set up some airbags to lift things up we have stuff to go in the water if it's really cold or if we had to go rescue somebody out of the water we got to put on our life jackets our suits we have a fan you remember in the book what they do with the fan I can't. you remember in the book what they did with the fan I they put they put the fan up to the front door to get all the black smoke out of the house right so we have our fan to help get the stuff out of the house. You guys can move down a little bit more. This compartment is kind of boring. This compartment has our stuff to keep some of your stuff safe in your house. Uh, like if we needed to put tarps down to protect some of the stuff from getting damaged with water. We'll put all these tarps yeah, down. It is boring. Or if you have uh, your basement floods with water and you need help getting the water out of your basement, we got pumps and stuff to help you get stuff out of, out of the water out of your basement. This one is kind of a cool compartment. This has got, you guys know what these are? No. Back up a little bit so I can come out with it. Back up just a little bit. Why miss story time? So do you know what these are? No. These or if you get into a really, really bad car accident and you can't get out of the car, we will come and help get you out of the car. 
Okay, we can use these tools. These are our cutters. We'll use this to cut the car up. So if I had to take the roof off the truck, I would cut all those posts and we'd take the roof right off the truck. Okay, or if I needed to pop the door open, I'd put this in and pop, pop the door open. These are our cool toy tools that help us get people out of cars. Don't look at toys. Well, it's <laughs> because yeah. for the firefighters, they are toys. They're our big boy toys. Okay, let's go. We'll keep coming this way. Are they heavy? They are heavy. What do you think we have in here? Um, nope. These are ladders. What would I need to use a ladder for? Uh, to get up high. To get up high, right? To get up on the roof of your house. Yeah. Okay, we have, right? If I got to put stuff up, if I got to get up on your roof, I would use our ladders. Okay. Does anybody here live near a pond? No. No? If you live near a pond, we have these hoses here that we can put into your pond and get the water out of it in order for us to be able to have more water to put the fire up. Right? And get more and more water out of it. You can look at it as you go around. Some more nozzles and stuff. And keep coming this way. We're going to walk right around the truck. A hole in your roof. I'll use the chainsaw to cut a hole in your roof. Okay, or this one here I'll use to open up your garage door. If I can't open your garage door, I gotta cut your garage door open. I'll use this one to cut the garage door. So these are our chainsaws that we use. Okay, we'll keep coming on down this way a little bit. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to what you guys really want. What do you guys think these things are? A backpack. The backpacks. What's in my backpack? Is it my snack? Did I bring my snack? Oxygen. Oxygen, right? That's what I have to wear when I go into a building that's on fire so that I can still see and breathe inside of the smoke so that I don't get hurt, right? Alright. If we're to catch on fire, I'm going to use the rake to try and get the fire out. You guys know what this is called? No. No. This is called the halligan. This is what we can use to break windows if we needed to. Or to pry open doors if there's a door that's locked and we can't get through. Okay, I can use these to get through. A chainsaw. I don't know. With knuckles. You know what this is? Oh, yeah. 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 What do I use the axe for? To cut down trees. Nope, not to cut down trees. You also use it to cut down doors if they're really hard to open. Right. If I can't get down, if I can't open a door, I'm gonna use the axe to open the door. Is it fun to break walls and get in? It is a lot of fun. That's why firefighters are firefighters. So here's the other side of the pump. Can you kill those, oh those, wow! Uh, to put back in for a yeah, for sure. um, so this side of the pump, this is where we control where all that water comes from, right? Yeah. I can open up all these levers. And it's going to take the water from the tank and put it through all these different things. And I can take water from somebody else and put it into here and fill. So this is very important. Don't push the, don't push the button. This is very important um, to work on on a fire scene to make sure that we have all the water that we need to be able to put the fire out. Okay? Birthday, happy birthday. Scarlet. It's my birthday. It's your birthday, too? Nolan. And he's going to be gone. Yeah, I was going to be gone. Hello, buddy. No. You're welcome. I want the assistant. Oh. 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 Which way does it go for your, for your brother? Your brother? Did you get one, buddy?